experience, I think, for the next few years is always get that right. And that is what these boys will be looking to do now as they make their way out in the under-15 Ironman final. And that's it. This is the final. So these boys, they've been through the qualifiers. They've done the hard work. They've been up the north end, closest to surface paradise. And they've been working hard all morning. They've already run their board. They've already run their swim. So they've had a few finals. They've got a little bit of that intensity into the bodies. And now here they are. They're in the main arena. They've watched the girls. They've learned the way around the course. They know what they're doing. We hope we so. We shouldn't see any mistakes from here <laughs> as we try and uh, have a look out now. You see the boys, they're just resting up. They're just waiting. That looks like Marilla Barrick Point cops one right there. It sends the board flying backwards. And uh, as you see, scrambling on through. Is that a Cronulla cap? That is uh, Cook's Hill that just rolls under that one. Redhead pops up and over. Alexandra Headland's in there as well. Here we go. You have to feel for our leader at that stage, who I did believe was Brody Wright from Redhead, popping up and over that wave and getting his board thrown around because they aren't long races. There's not much to separate them except for that short break. So you really got to try and make sure you get it right. Stu, I'm a bit worried about our leaders coming into this first can. They haven't quite got that angle right and are struggling to get around that turn. I think we are about to see chaos on this first can. It's legs and caps everywhere. Someone's up on top of the can oh, as they make their way it. around. Oh, no. Boards flip, trying to punch through waves that are coming through as well. Brody Wright, we can see him trying to get his way around that first can. He was our leader at the start of the race, Stu. If you get that line wrong, it is absolutely costly. Absolutely. You know that uh, these surf skills, we said it all day, surf skills going to be a premium. You've got to have a good strategy. You've got to have a good line, and you've got to not make a mistake. It's too short of a race in order to make mistakes, as you see here. Is it the Sunshine Beach Boy that's out in front? But look at the wave on offer. This is going to be a field. We are going to have a swim race on our hands right now. Oh, absolutely. Oh. That wave's dumps them down, but the boys do really well as their elbows to elbows there on that lead wave. Six of them on it. Maybe a seventh if that guy from Currawar, the young man, can make his way over the top, but not quite. So, Stu, they did everything right, our leaders, so far in this board race. We've got one snuck away. It's the young man from Cronulla, it looks like. Or possibly the blue and red. I'm not sure the blue and red cap. Let's look that one up. But it's the young man there. He's flying on through. Didn't he, didn't he sneak through without anyone watching? He gets the course direction right as well through that transition. And he's running with speed. He knows that this is his opportunity to open up a sizable gap. It's the young man, Kobe Holden from Elliott Heads. I actually got the whisper of that one earlier as well. Keep your eye out from the young man of Elliott Heads, Kobe Holden. So he's already been dominant down in the uh, the southern part of the beach and now he's in the main arena he's making every post a winner so far he's got himself a nice little break he's actually attacked the surf a lot more aggressively than the, the other boys have. that's a big call that's he, a very big he backs call, his too. ability i like it i like to be brave out in the ocean i like to be brave out in the surf especially with the conditions the way they are you see these boys they're going to head a long way down but you can't afford to bob up and down the way he has just there especially once he gets onto this sandbank the water is going to be ripping across that sandbank if you miss the can in the swim game over that's exactly right so it is the all important decisions being made now to decide this under 15 ironman race the boys standing up on that bank getting those knees out of the water. Gee, as if that isn't hard enough in the surf race that we spoke about before, but doing that after you just go all out in the board is a huge challenge. So, again, just like we saw in the under-15 iron woman, it's a really spread out line. There's some competitors really far to the left and some those who ran a lot further down the beach. So, Stu, some interesting decisions are about to be coming to the fore here because we can spot that first can in the background. I think these young men might be in trouble. Oh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Big trouble because there's our leaders on the left of screen. They need to get back to the can on the right of screen, and it is taking them further and further away. Wow, Stu, that could be costly. It could be very costly as well because these boys, they're going to have to fight against it. It's a long way back. You'd almost be better off at this stage. It might just be the one can they have to go around. You'd almost be better off restarting. Yeah. Start again, boys. Come back in. Go back down the beach and start again because of the time it takes you to swim against this current, you'll be swimming all day. They've missed that northern can as well. So that shows just how much that sweep has pulled through. It wasn't as strong as the under-15 iron woman. They lined up that can on the right, the boys, when they got through the break, and now they've gone down. 
there have been ad hoc changes to the course on the fly this afternoon that we haven't quite been included in. So, look, I am hoping, to be honest, that this is one of those and that the boys only can. have to swim around the one be. can because if not, none yeah. of our competitors lined up the first can. The way that the uh, Sunshine Beach boy just wrestled his way over the top of that can, Dan, I think it's a one can race. So I think for the boys, they've averted all danger that way, and I think they're just going around that final can. But to me, Sunshine Beach is around. Sunshine Beach is home, and so he should be going for home now. He should be turning for home. The rest of the boys, they're trying to get around though. They're trying to make their way around. I tell you what, it's a bit of a dog's breakfast out there. It's hard to uh, it's hard to pick who's at the front of the pack and who's at the back of the pack. We're going off our best uh, best efforts here. I thought I saw someone get around, but I can't see anyone making their way in. Stu, I'm worried. I'm worried that it's a two-can race because if these boys have to get around both of these cans, then they have got huge dramas coming their way because they are swimming on the spot at the moment. It looks as though one of our competitors did actually get around that can, though, because someone is swimming back to the beach. I do hope that is our leader, and I hope it's not someone who's instead going to come back in and run further up the beach because at this point, it is anyone's guess in these wild conditions at the Shannon Eckstein Ironman Classic. That first wave starting to peak up as they come back into the break. That one isn't going to be enough to bring him into the beach, but perhaps the next one is going to bring him through on a body wave. I, I think we got someone on a body wave, though. So I did see a few boys get around. It's Ben Servanak of Talabadra that was on screen right there. But we got a few boys that are just making their way through that maybe snick, snuck on through. That was the Sunshine Beach cap that I called earlier. There's the young man of North Burley. So Sunshine Beach at the moment in a chance. We got Talabadra in third spot. So that was a young man. He, he had a wrestling match with the can and it looks like he might be on the beach and he might have got around that course safely. It is that boy there, Sunshine Beach. It looks like we've lost him right now, but he's going to be able to go up and through the through the shoot and uh, take the victory here. Getting the round of applause from Shaw and Pun, the CEO, Earl Evans. Sunshine Beach taking out the under-15 Iron Man, coming across the line with exhaustion. Wow, you could see how much that effort took out of them. Lord, it's so rough getting out, and then the swim, the sweep is so strong. I had to like pull myself around the can. It was so hard. Just... A bit of a bit of rope burn? Yeah, I just had to like rip it forward. It was, yeah, it was really hard. Have you ever raced in conditions like this before, Dylan? Um, not like this, not the, like not like this sweep. The sweep's really strong. But yeah, it's like, I'd like to like surf, um, race out the back. That'd be fun, but it's whatever. What is this? I mean, you're, you're so young. You've just won the, the 15 Ironman. What does this do for your confidence against some of the best competition in the in the country? Oh, I definitely feel a lot more confident going into, like, state and Aussies. Yeah. 